Welcome to Stack Bounty, the digital marketing tool hunt. Ahoy, bounty hunters. Don Mecca here at The Help. And today we're diving into the digital sea to uncover the treasures of Leonardo's AI image prompt. Ever tried to paint like Da Vinci? Well, this might be the next best thing. Today, we're going to teach you how to use Leonardo's AI image prompt. In this comprehensive tutorial, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to use Leonardo's text-to-image prompts to create stunning visuals. We'll go over the basics, like navigating the interface, understanding the different models and settings, and generating your first images. Then we'll go into more advanced techniques, like using negative prompts, image prompts, playing with the guidance scale and image weighting, and chaining prompts together to refine creation. I'll also provide plenty of examples and walkthroughs so you can see these features in action. By the end, you'll have a deep understanding of how to unleash your creativity with Leonardo. Whether you're an artist looking to enhance your workflow, a business seeking engaging visual content, or just someone who wants to explore the possibilities of AI artistry. This guide will equip you with the skills you need to generate imaginative images. So let's dive in. Navigating the interface. We'll start by getting familiar with Leonardo's interface. Go to leonardo.ai and click on AI image generation. This will bring you to the image generation page. In the center is a text box where you could enter your textual prompt describing the image you want Leonardo to generate. Below are the options to select your fine tune models and enter negative prompts is where your images will appear after generation. On the left side are settings like numbers of images, sizes, and guidance scale. At the top left, you can see your coin balance. Leonardo currently gives you 150 free coins to use per day. Now let's go over the key settings. Fine tune model. This drop down menu lets you select the artistic style. Options range from photorealism to paintings, anime, pixel art, and more. Negative prompt. Here you enter your words or phrases to exclude from the image useful for removing unwanted elements. Image dimensions let you select image size ranging from 512 by 512 pixels up to 1024 by 1024 pixels. Guidance scale controls how closely the AI sticks to your prompt. Higher values keep it more on track. Image prompt. Upload an image to guide the AI. We'll cover this more soon. Coins, your daily coin balance. Higher quality generations consume more coins. With the interface introduction out the way, let's move on to generating your first image. Generating your first image. Your first prompt, try describing a simple scene like a puppy playing with a ball on the beach. Keep it concise. You can leave the model on the default for now. This is Leonardo's general purpose model. Go ahead and click generate. Let's see what we get. Leonardo will churn away and produce four images for us. The amount of time it takes depends on your prompt complexity and image size. Look at that. We got some cute puppies playing on the beach just like we asked. The results aren't perfect but not too bad for our very first try. Now let's try a few more prompts to get a feel for Leonardo's capabilities across different styles and subjects. For our next prompt, let's try an astronaut riding a horse on Mars. This one is a bit silly and imaginative. We get some pretty wacky and creative images from the AI with this prompt. Leonardo seems to handle fantastical scenarios pretty well. Moving on, let's try something more serene. How about a quiet lake surrounded by mountains and pine trees? This time, we'll set the model to any that looks interesting. Gorgeous. This photorealistic landscape looked like it could be a Bob Ross painting. The specialized art model really shows through here. Let's wrap up this section with one more. This time, I'll prompt a close-up portrait of a girl with purple hair and a flower crown. 
And I'll use the anime model to get the cartoon art style. Very cool. This anime girl turned out lovely with vivid colors and flowing locks of purple hair. Through these first few generations, you could start to get a sense of Leonardo's versatility across styles both realistic and imagined. The possibilities are endless. Advanced prompting techniques. Now that you have the basics down, let's level up our skills with some more advanced prompting methods. We'll learn techniques to make your images better match your vision using negative prompts. First, let's talk about negative prompts. Adding words or phrases here tells the AI to avoid these elements. For example, let's prompt a bowl of vegetable soup, then add no broccoli as a negative prompt. We clearly don't want any nasty broccoli ruining our soup. Generate the images and success. We got some yummy looking vegetable soup without any florid of broccoli in sight, thanks to our negative prompt. Negative prompts are great for removing unwanted objects, people, background elements, and more. Get creative with them. Adjusting guidance scale. Next up is guidance scale. This controls how closely the AI adheres to your prompt. Turn it up to a nine or 10 and the AI will really stick to exactly what you told it. This improves coherence, but reduces creativity a little. Turn it down to around five or six and give the AI more creative freedom. Images will be more original, but may miss key parts of your prompts. Let's test it out. We'll prompt a busy downtown city street with cars and pedestrians. Then crack guidance scale up to a 10. As you can see with high guidance, the AI generated images that closely matched our prompt. Busy city scenes with cars and people everywhere. Now let's lower guidance down to a five and try again. With more creative freedom, the AI strains further from our exact prompt. The scenes are more varied and imagined, but sometimes it misses the key parts like pedestrians. Guidance is great for reining in the AI when it starts going off course. Find the right balance with your use case. A scale of seven or eight is a good starting point using image prompts. Now let's discuss image prompts, a very powerful technique. Upload any image you want the AI to use as a creative inspiration. It could be a landscape photo, someone's face, anything. The AI will then generate new images inspired by your image prompt while also incorporating your text prompt. Let's see it in action. First, I'll upload a picture of a foggy bridge. For my text prompt, I'll put ancient stone castle reflected in the misty lake at sunrise. I'll crank up the image weight to 85% so it pays more attention to my photo reference. Leonardo combined the magical misty bridge from my image prompt with the castle idea for my text prompt. Image prompts enable you to guide the AI for more predictable and coherent results, or get creative and mash up distinct ideas into something new. Chaining prompts. Finally, let's discuss chaining prompts. This means taking an AI generated image and iterating on it by feeding it back into Leonardo. Start with a text prompt like, a dark portrait of a wizard casting a spell and generate some images. Then pick your favorite and upload it as the image prompt. Enter a text prompt to refine it like make the spell glow brighter green. Regenerate and we get an improved version with an eerie glowing spell. We can repeat this process over and over using the AI's creations as a starting point for the next iteration. This allows you to incrementally polish and enhance an image until it perfectly matches your vision. Chain prompts is a fantastic way to direct the AI through collaboration rather than just one-shot prompts. Your creations will steadily evolve in the direction you want through an iterative refinement process. Wrap up. 
And that concludes our deep dive on generating amazing images with Leonardo AI. Here's some key takeaways. Use clear, concise prompts and select models suited to your content. Clean up unwanted elements with negative prompts. Adjust guidance scale to balance creative freedom versus coherence. Inspire the AI with image prompts and photography uploads. Refine images through chaining. Iterate prompting images. Don't be afraid to continuously experiment with settings and inputs. I hope now you feel empowered to create stunning visuals with Leonardo. This revolutionary AI artist places incredible creative potential at your fingertips. Just keep practicing to master its capabilities. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions and please like, subscribe to support more AI tutorials. Now get out there and make something beautiful with Leonardo today. The possibilities are endless. Dawn Mecca out.